If you're trading options without understanding the Greeks, it's kind of like driving a car with no dashboard. You have no idea how fast you're going, how much gas you have left, or whether or not the engine's about to overheat. In this video, I'm going to break down the five essential options Greeks. That's Delta, Beta, Gamma, Vega, and Rho, and show you how each one helps you monitor risk, time decay, volatility, and more, so you can trade with confidence and precision. And I'm not going to just explain them, I'm going to show you how to use a free tool on Bar Chart that acts like your own options dashboard, letting you visualize all of the Greeks in one place, that way you can find higher probability trades faster. And stick around to the end, because I'm going to walk you through the entire process using real examples with popular stocks, so you can follow along and start applying this today. And hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe so others will find it as well. And while you're at it, leave us a comment with your biggest takeaway. Now, if you're new to options trading, and you happen to find this video by accident, then let me give you a quick rundown of what options are. Options are contracts that give the buyer the right, but not an obligation, to buy or sell an underlying asset at a specified strike price on or before a specified expiration date. They can be used for income generation, leverage speculation, and hedging or asset protection. Now, if you're just starting out on your own options trading journey, I recommend watching these videos first, and then come back to this video once you've mastered the basics. Now, let's get into the options Greeks. Option Greeks are pieces of information that help traders understand how different factors affect the options price. Imagine them as the indicators on your car's dashboard. Sure, you can start the car and drive off with ever looking at the dashboard, but who would do such a thing? Unfortunately, when it comes to options trading, many of us ignore our figurative dashboard. Or some of you may not even know that one exists, and doing so costs us profit. Options Greeks provide investors with a better understanding of the trade, whether it's the trade's potential or otherwise, and gives you a more informed strategic approach, rather than flying blind and clicking buy or sell to open and hoping for the best. When it comes to options Greeks, they make your trade experience smoother and safer, giving you the best chance to arrive at your intended destination profitably. There are five options Greeks. Delta, Theta, Gamma, Vega, and Rho. Each one reveals a layer of risk and opportunity that you can use for your trading. And let's start with the first one, and that's Delta. Delta tells us how much the options price will change based on every $1 increase in the underlying security. Delta is displayed as a decimal from minus 1 to plus 1, although it's sometimes shown and almost always mentioned as a whole number, but they do mean the same thing. The easiest way to think of delta is to imagine it as your profit or loss on the trade as the underlying security moves up by a dollar. Let me explain. Let's say you're buying a long call. In this case, you profit when the underlying stock moves up. If the option has a delta of 0 0.3, it's often called 30 delta, which means the option's premium is expected to increase by 30 cents for every $1 increase in the underlying stock price, all things being equal. Since each standard options contract controls 100 shares of the underlying stock, a 30 cent increase in premium translates to an unrealized profit of $30 for every $1 move up in the stock. With short calls, however, the delta is negative, and this is because you lose money as the underlying moves up. For example, let's say you sold a covered call with a minus 30 delta. Well, that means you'll lose 30 cents for each dollar that the underlying security moves up. And with put options, it's similar, only in reverse. Long puts have negative delta because the trade loses money as the underlying moves up. And short puts have positive delta because you profit as the underlying security increases in value. Delta can also be used as an approximate measure of the option expiring in the money. For example, the same 30 delta long call has a 30% chance of expiring in the money, 
Meanwhile, a short call with a negative 30 delta has an approximate 70% chance of expiring out of the money. In short, delta not only tells you how much you can earn based on how much the underlying moves, but it also gives you a rough probability of expiring in the money, making it one of the most important Greeks to know. Next, we have theta, or time decay, which indicates how much the option will lose in value each day, assuming everything else stays the same, including the underlying securities price. Since options lose value every day as they get closer to expiration, theta in single-legged long trades is expressed as a negative number, because it's the amount that the option will lose in value every single day. Theta is expressed in cents, so if you have a theta of minus 0.1, that means the option will decrease in price by 10 cents a day, assuming the underlying security doesn't change in price. For short option trades, theta is expressed as a positive number. It's still interpreted the same, it's just the amount of the premium will decrease each passing day. However, in this case, time decay is seen as beneficial as the trader profits as the option loses value over time. Essentially, theta indicates how much time is working for or against you, hurting long option buyers with time decay while rewarding short option sellers as the clock ticks down. Next, we have gamma. Gamma tells us the rate of change between the option's delta and the underlying securities price. Higher gamma means that delta could change significantly, even with minimal price changes in the underlying security. So if you're buying a call, higher gamma means delta will increase more rapidly as the stock price rises, which in turn can cause the option price to rise faster than it would with lower gamma. With higher gamma, delta is less stable, which makes it less reliable as a standalone guide. Now, if your options trading strategy is to buy deep in the money options, well, gamma isn't all that important because the options delta would already be close to one. Gamma is much more critical for at the money options because small moves in the stock can quickly swing the position into or out of the money, causing rapid changes in delta and extrinsic value. The fourth Greek is Vega. Vega tells us how much an options price is expected to change for a one-point change in implied volatility. In short, it indicates how sensitive the option's value is to changes in implied volatility. Remember, options are much more expensive when volatility is high and cheaper when it's low. Let's say you're buying a call option on SMCI for $4.55 a share. At the time, implied volatility is 80.64%, and the options vega is 0.6934, meaning for every one percentage point change in implied volatility, the options premium is expected to move by about 69 cents. Now, if implied volatility raises from 80.64% to 85%, well, that's a 4.36 point increase. Multiply that by the vega, and we get $3.02. So the options price would be expected to increase by $3.02, making the new estimated premium to be $7.57, assuming no other factors like price movement or time decay change. In short, vega captures the sensitivity of option pricing to changes in implied volatility, which is a key measure of market expectations. The last options Greek is Rho, which I admit isn't used by a lot of traders, at least not in the last few decades, but since 2022, that changed somewhat. Rho tells us the option sensitivity to changes in the risk-free interest rate. That's the interest rate paid on treasury bills. Rho is expressed as the amount of money that an option will lose or gain with the 1% change in interest rates, so it could be a positive or negative number. For example, let's say you're considering an option that has a row value of 0.1. In this case, a 1% increase in the risk-free rate would increase the options premium by 10 cents. So if you expect interest rates to move before your option's expiration, row is something you'll definitely want to consider. Now, remember that dashboard I was speaking about earlier? Now I'm going to show you how to find it on bar chart so you can use it to your advantage.
Let's start by going to barchart.com if you aren't already there and search for any stock that you want. For this example, let's use Microsoft, which just recently reached an all-time high of just over $500. From its profile page, click long call slash put on the left-hand panel under option strategies. Then stay on the long call tab. Once there, you'll immediately see the results page for potential long call trades. Let's say you want to sell a long call two to three months out. Here, you can change the expiration date on the dropdown to, let's say, September 19th, and then you'll see all of the potential trades. Then, let's assume that you're confident that Microsoft stock will trade well above $500 by then. So type in $500 in the strike field and click Apply. And there you have it, your $500 strike long call trade. Now, to review the Greeks, click the chart icon between the price and its expiration date right here. And this will pull up bar charts PL charts, which include everything you might want to know about your potential trades, including profit and loss zones, contract details, expected move, volatility, trends, and of course, the Greeks. Now I'll click the Greeks tab and it will display all five Greeks, including Greek ratios relevant to long call trades. Based on these values here, this option has a relatively balanced directional exposure and sensitivity to volatility. A delta of 52.98 means the option will increase by about 53 cents for every $1 increase in Microsoft stock before expiration. Theta is minus 14.77, which means the option loses approximately 15 cents per day solely on time decay, which is a manageable drag, especially if the underlying asset moves favorably. Gamma at 0.78 reflects moderate delta acceleration, which is typical for options with some time until expiration. Vega at 93.06 indicates that the option is fairly responsive to changes in implied volatility, gaining about 93 cents for every one point increase in implied volatility. Lastly, Rho at 53.85 suggests around a 54 cent premium increase for every 1% rise in interest rates. Overall, these Greeks suggest a well-rounded contract for traders expecting upward movement and or rising volatility while still being conscious of time decay. Now, let's say you don't have an underlying asset in mind and you want to explore, well, your options in the market with a particular strategy. In that case, you can access the strategy-specific option screener by clicking options on the top menu and then selecting the strategy that you'd like to use. For this example, let's use the covered or short call screener. I'll click it right here and then I'm brought to some trade results. From there, I can click on the set filters tab where I can see the default filters for covered calls. To add Greeks to your screen, simply type them in on the find filter field. Select the one you like, then click add. You can also navigate to the Greeks menu on the drop down menu right here. By the way, Delta is usually included in the default screen filters for most trades. It's that important. Again, you can add whatever you need, adjust the values, and you're all set. Understanding and using the Greeks gives you a 360 degree complete view of your options trades and how they work. Forget randomly picking a strike and hoping for the best. Delta and Theta help you assess directional risk and time decay, while Vega, Gamma, and Rho help you forecast option price movement on potential changes over the horizon. And with BarChart's new PL tool and option screener, you have access to options Greeks without having to break out the calculator or fiddle with highly technical formulas with ever changing values. So the next time you trade options, don't just glance at the premium. Take a look under the hood. In fact, I challenge you to select specific trades based on their Greeks and monitor their performance throughout the contract's duration. This will give you a better idea of how real-world, real-time changes affect the Greeks and, eventually, your trade outcome. Well, folks, that's it for me today. Of course, if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. And of course, feel free to leave us a comment below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.